Okay, first let's discuss Akramara. I've got a video today for you and it is 20 fresh fragrances for everyone so anyone can wear them. Doesn't matter what your gender or association or whatever, anyone can wear them. I already did this video as a live stream but I did promise I would do a condensed quicker pre-recorded video. But I've gone one better because I've brought more frags along. So you've got 20 fragrances that I believe are completely unisex. So I may as well start off with this one now that I've said, let's discuss Aqua Armara. This is Dan's bottle. Gonna spray it in the air, woo, hit me in the face. So this is a super fresh mandarin fragrance. It is somewhat divisive. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm on the love side of things. Love is love after all. By the way, do check out Hilary's video, the Burrow Nerdy Fragrance Reviews has just done a, a, a video, a Fragcom collaboration celebrating Pride Month and it's absolutely awesome. Love is love. Check out the video, I'll link it below. Aqua Armara is an aquatic mandarin. It's not really that massively interesting, but it is very, very good at what it does. It has a great projection, great longevity completely unisex, not too floral, not, not too sweet, it's kind of tart with a hint of sweetness and I really enjoy it. The aquatic nature is not too strong, it doesn't have that really, there's a particular jarring note that can be in aquatic fragrances that I don't get on with. It's the kind of thing that you get in Invictus for example, that it almost dries my throat out, it sticks in my throat this doesn't do that it does have an aquatic feel to it but it's not that amber ambery woodsy dry thing it's more like a bit more natural although it's clearly not a natural ingredient fresh breeze type note in here i enjoy it it's good so aqua armara discontinued a bit of a pain to get hold of these days i'm afraid so let's move on this is Agonist by the Infidels and it's a super fresh, powdery, bit of a headshot kind of vibe. It smells like all the incense flavours all at once with some citrus, loads of citrus, some pink pepper. It's got some vanilla, it's got cedar, it's got resins. It really does have the whole kitchen sink. I love the headshot vibe that it gives me but it is a bit fresh because it's got this great citrus fresh opening, but it's on the powdery side. And that is The Infidels by Agonist. This is one that Dan has lent me. It's Creed Sublime Vanille. Yes, it is a vanilla, but more importantly, it's a citrus laundry musk vanilla. Sounds a bit dull, maybe. I thought it was a bit dull at first, but actually I find it quite addictive. It's a very nice, citrus vanilla laundry musk you feel very clean very well put together and it works fantastic in the heat it's expensive though would i pay retail absolutely not and one that's a little bit different here is coco a la vaniglia it's from kais perfumes k-y-s-e is how you spell it based in the usa and it is exactly what it says on the tin coconut and vanilla you can even taste you can taste it. It's got the texture of the coconut. It's got a very rich, full on, quite sweet vanilla. It smells exactly like the kind of thing you might drink on holiday. It's very, very tropical. Nice price, this uh, $23 for 15 millilitres. Very rich, highly concentrated fragrances. So that's tropical vibes for you. Quite sweet, so maybe if you really like your things to lean very masculine, you might find that too sweet. And next up, uh, Eliza Grace Stories by Eliza Grace. This is the number one. There's only two available from their range at the moment. Number one and number two. Number one is my favorite of the two because it has this coconutty feel. I think it's actually fig, but fig can smell coconutty to me. It has that kind of dry coconut husk 
smell so the outside of a coconut rather than rich sweet inside edible bit of a coconut with some fresh nurse it's like a bit woody a touch citrus but very fresh has a very outdoorsy very natural feel it could be a Jo Malone fragrance it's just got that lovely outdoors natural smell that anyone can wear I'm not going to spend too long on this one Virgin Island Water from Creed quite a linear fragrance it smells like a very sharp lime some sugar syrup and some coconut textured coconut I feel like coconut does bring texture and sometimes it can bring like the woodsy outside of the shell or the richer inside. Sometimes it can be like a desiccated dried coconut. This is probably a combination of the a coconut water. So a little bit sweet, but smooth coconut. But also there is a texture of the flesh or the desiccated type coconut as well very rich in the lime so very very tart and zesty and fresh so you can wear this on the hottest of days and it's not too sweet anyone can wear it absolutely anyone and then we have chanel derville which is to me a green fresh very very zingy and uplifting has hints of florals but it doesn't smell like a girly fragrance at all it's more about this sort of green fresh super refreshing citrusy thing you could drink this it's so refreshing and it's not bad lasting power considering they are supposed to be cologne style fragrances i'll still get four or five hours out of that before i feel like i want to respray this super refreshing out of the shower kind of fragrance and from the same line Paris Bay Ritz and this one is more sweet to me it smells to me like it's got a bit of vanilla in there although it's not listed this one's more orangey so that one was green this one's more orangey to me I think it's a mandarin again I could be wrong but it's a sweet rich orange not just like a bitter orange and a backbone of something that's sweet and vanillic but also a touch woodsy I probably get a slightly less performance but it's still not bad for a fresher fragrance and you can pick these up at the airport reasonable prices obviously not many of us are going to the airport at the moment but you'll get them at the airport quite a bit cheaper than in the Chanel boutiques. A staple in my summer diet is Renaissance 1861. This is an absolute fantastic go-to when the heat is on, when it's super, super hot. I love this because it's got this refreshing mint. So it's all the fruits to me. It's very fruity, not just citrusy. It feels like there's some other fruits in here with a sprig of mint just decorating it. It doesn't come off like toothpaste. It smells like natural mint leaves. And I love that. It's got some florals and it's got a little bit of a deeper base. I think it's probably got some cedar or vetiver, something like that. But mostly it's the fruitiness and the mintiness and a hint of florals without ever going girly or particularly too sweet. Very, very refreshing, clean, yet quite alluring, I think. Renaissance 1861, a summer staple for me. Another one that I love in the summer is Venetian Bergamot, Tom Ford. Might lean a touch feminine to some noses because the main focus in here is uh, a fatty, rich gardenia, like waxy gardenia. And I mean, there's obviously bergamot, but there's more to it. There's woodsiness. I get in the dry down sort of almost a bit like iso -y, super cedar woods type stuff. The opening is very, very refreshing and reviving. Reminds me of a cocktail. I always picture a green cocktail with loads of crushed ice. So it's got a green feel, somewhat like the Chanel Derville. Not green leaves, not a galbanum green but more like a, a sweet, grassy, dewy green, like a green bergamot, an unripened bergamot, perhaps some lime as well. 
really beautiful and what i love about this is how long lasting it is on my skin i will get the whole working day out of that and even the sun doesn't kill it too much if i'm out in the sunshine so performance wise i think it's excellent and you can see i'm not sure if you can see through the bottle i don't think you can actually see but there's only a little bit left and i have used lots of that because i love it and unusual niche indie one here is a mandarin air herbs is another mandarin fragrance super refreshing i think if you like tom ford's mandarin no de amalfi uh you're probably gonna like this but it's less on the aquatic uh very rich but fresh mandarin with some green obviously herbs so that kind of like cuts through and just makes it super refreshing and reviving yeah it's really good so that is by a company called esquise and it's mandarin air herbs now we have 4160 tuesdays this is one of their cute little 15 milliliter bottles it's called fluffy lemon top and this is a byproduct of their clouds project that they did with oh my soul christy from the facebook group oh my soul did a collaboration with 4160 tuesdays and the clouds perfume was amazing but there was various iterations and sarah let some of those out and i believe this is going to be part of the collection so you should be able to get hold of it fluffy lemon top has no lemon in it but it does smell quite lemony it's very zesty but there's a texture so if you look at a lemon rind and how like little bubbly bubbly it is it's almost got the texture and uh, kind of like powdery woodsy nuance, a little bit irisy, it's a fair bit of vanilla comes through. It's really, really nice. It's refreshing, but also has some sweetness. So it's more fun than just a basic citrusy type fragrance. There's more going on. Long Time Loves is Pomelo Paradis. This is by Atelier Cologne and it's very sweet and juicy, yet tart and kind of a touch bitter as well grapefruit it's like grapefruit bergamot maybe just a hint of green as well um black currant in here i don't really pick up on it but apparently it's there probably adds to the just the general juiciness of the fragrance and in the dry down you just have a little bit of i think it's i'm not sure if it's vetiver cedar something in here seems to give it a bit of lasting power on me that's a subjective thing quite a lot of reviewers say they get no lasting power whatsoever i get a good six seven hours or so from this without needing to respray although if i was out in the sun and the sun was beating down on me that would probably lower quite a lot but if i'm wearing it to work in the air conditioning i can get a good amount of time from atelier cologne's pomelo parody Another really good lasting power citrus freshy is Nice Bergamot by Essential Parfums. It's a niche company, however, they're actually quite nicely priced. 100 mils is, a, I think, 60, 70 pounds. And this one is a gorgeous, refreshing, another take on citrus, but it's different to all the others. It's hard to explain how it's different. I think, I don't really know. Um, it smells like more than just bergamot. There's various citruses, it's a little bit powdery as well. It's fresh, but it's not really bitter like some of the other fragrances have been. It's more sweet, fresh and powdery. And then it gets sort of woodsy in the dry down. I believe my nose picks out Isoe Super in here, which is probably used for the lasting power and actually a full day of the average working day i do 12 hours i'm not sure i'd get 12 hours from it but if you work a normal nine to five type job full day out of that believe it or not it might not stay as fresh but you definitely get the the dry woodsy powderiness and it seems to cling on quite well to some of the citrus elements so i think that's a really nice freshy that actually has some good staying power and is reasonably priced new one in my collection is clean reserves radiant nectar i have decanted some of that out for people so that's why so much is gone i've only had it a few weeks this is a pear fragrance and it's really delicious so i get a really lovely 
fresh green watery slightly sweet pear note with some biscuity aspects so i feel like if you took a cracker like a savory cracker like uh, in england we have jacob's cream crackers and if you smashed that cracker up and then you took a fairly plain but sweet cookie or biscuit we call it biscuit here you you would call it a cookie but not a super sweet one like a digestive biscuit something quite plain smash the both the cracker and the biscuit up together and then you smell the two thing the two things all mixed up together i get a note of that in this and i believe there's probably quite a heavy dose of ambroxin in here which is that powdery slightly sweet slightly salty note that is supposed to resemble ambergris and i feel like i get quite a lot of that it's a very addictive scent and uh, the only problem with this is it doesn't project very much when you spray it it is an eau de parfum and it's very oily on the skin. There's ambrette seed in here. It's a musky sort of note. The ingredients aren't powerhouse ingredients or the notes aren't powerhouse notes. There's nothing in here like tuberose or I don't know. There's nothing in here that's big. So it doesn't massively project. But if you spray lots and just reapply every few hours, it does the job and it just smells so addictive it's lovely i have spray i have worn quite a lot of, as well as uh having decanted some out so let's stick with the pears because i love a juicy pear and this is mark jacobs pear this one probably leans more masculine than some of the other fragrances even though i believe it's marketed towards women it's discontinued you can still find it and you can find it quite cheap although you might have to be a bit patient and look around i think i got that around the 20 pound mark and that's 100 mils and it also doubles as a weapon it's absolutely thick thick glass heavy it could be a paperweight if you're not uh violent you could just use it as a paperweight but i choose to use it as a weapon and to me this is a very citrusy cologne style leaning slightly masculine fragrance opens very fresh with all the citruses and pear just to make it slightly interesting it's got a pear note in there obviously it's called pear but i would prefer if it, for my taste i would prefer it to be more on the pear side and it's actually more on the citrus side than the dry down turns slightly bitter on my skin and not very sweet at all so that's why i feel like it leans more on the masculine side i'm not sure if it's vetiver but there's some kind of like sharp dry woodsy notes in here and as i say it gets a little bit bitter so that one would suit you if you prefer things to be less sweet and nice and fresh and citrusy up top next one is kenzo world power yep that's it kenzo world power this is uh, an aquatic fragrance. This actually does have that sharp, synthetic, aquatic note that I don't always enjoy that I mentioned earlier. It does have that, but it's combined with a juicy sweetness. I think there's only three notes in here. I can't remember what they are, but one of them is Tonka. And what I'm surprised at is there's no fruits and I don't think there's even any flowers, but to me, it smells like a, maybe like a pear nectar type, juicy, fruity type smell with quite a sharp aquatic ambery feel. Not amber as in the sweet Tonka, Labdanum, vanilla combination, but more that synthetic, dry, driftwood style note that I think comes from Amber Max, I believe is the ingredient that's in Sauvage and maybe Invictus Aqua that or Invictus that kind of very salty woodsy sharp note so you've got fresh sharpness with uh, what to me is a sweet fruitiness all in one it's quite an interesting fragrance Kenzo World Power anyone can wear that I think as long as you like a bit of sweetness next up Los Angeles from Galavant this is a tuberose it's more than just tuberose it because i don't really like tuberose that often it's um i find it can be a, like a big punch in the face of a very blousy over the top floral but in here there's so much else going on and the tuberose is kind of like well behaved and, and played down there's a guyac wood note there's like a the note of um almost like a tar not quite tar but slightly rubbery 
imagine like hot tires on tarmac just a hint of that though so that's not the main thing but that balances things out here it's got this sweet sharp floral it's got some candy floss to give it some fun fresh edginess it's really really interesting and super super fun fragrance for anyone to wear maybe a touch sweet or a touch floral for everybody's taste but i think anyone can wear it and i happen to know lots of the guys in francom that are really enjoying this so don't be put off by the floral notes it's worth a try if you want something slightly unusual then gallivant los angeles is worth a go I've got this one by SP Parfums, it's called Magnolia. This is a cold fragrance, cold almost, almost veering on metallic, juicy, bitter fruits and clean, crisp, sharp white florals. It is just so cold and fresh if you need to feel cool because you are in a hot, sweltering climate and clean, then this is going to do the job. And you're not going to smell like anyone else because this is really quite unusual if you like things like dior's pure poison if you like crisp sharp white florals you might like this but it's just got this slightly metallic vibe and it's very very clean so that's magnolia by sp parfums and the last but not least so this is number 20 it's still in its box this is dan's as well Mr. Smellies and it's Etruscan water from Francesca Bianchi and look at the colour of that juice this is not a super fresh fragrance despite the name water in the title this is a very long lasting rich green citrus herbal hay like concoction it's absolutely crazy uh, when I wore it yesterday it lasted i don't i didn't time it but it was surely more than 10 maybe even 12 hours on my skin just one spray so this is super super potent they come in 30 mils and you really wouldn't want them any bigger because this is a two spray perfume maximum really that's all you need to do it does have refreshing and reviving properties because it is sort of herbal, it's outdoorsy, it's very natural smelling, kind of like walking around the countryside. You can smell the hay and the fields and um, herbs. It's very natural. It's a bit mossy. So this is probably the least fresh because it's not, I think there's probably citrus in here, but it's not about citrus to me it's about the the depth of these outdoorsy smells these countryside rich smells but i just think it belongs in this category but it is just not as super fresh as some of these other fragrances but it does have this lovely outdoorsy feel that fits with a hot weather i think so that is etruscan water by francesca bianchi and that is it that's it thank you so much for watching i tried to do it as quick as possible but we're on 24 minutes so 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 i'll probably premiere this video and that way uh gives everyone an opportunity to have a little live chat at the same time so i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you all very 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 soon do you want to see sweetie uh, there she is sweetie She's um oh she's been to the groomers. I haven't done the before and after video yet of the grooming. Uh, she's a bit quiet today. So she hasn't got much to say. Do apologise about that. See you all soon.